This is a Chucky Bee production. Hey guys, it's Jacob with Above and Beyond Tech. It's week two of our new documentary series, Journey to Above and Beyond, where I take you through our week in what we've been doing, the successes we've had, and the losses we've experienced throughout our week. So that way you can feel like you're part of our learning curve and how we're growing. And you can feel like you're part of our team right alongside us. So let's go ahead and journey to above and beyond and what we've done all week. Just like last week, this week I'm continuing to learn that the most important thing to do while building my business is to build the relationships along the way. As I'm building stronger and better relationships with people, I'm finding more and more customers. This week, I've had three new customers that have wanted to sign up for consistent trainings. That's amazing, honestly. I mean, I'm actually starting to see customers in success. I started to meet with three to five people every single day, along with all the other work that I've been doing for my business along the way. I'm also trying to do something a little bit different each and every single day to help put me a little closer to success as well. One day this week, I shot four videos for my video series, Tips and Tricks with Your Tech. Another day, I edited those videos. On another day this week, I had three networking groups that I went to, along with meeting those three people that day. Another day, I had my daughter, and finally, today, I did my documentary video that you're watching right now. And I've started to see so many more customers than I did before. And all I've been doing is going to groups and friend, be it friend groups or networking groups, <clears throat> things like Toastmasters or friends of Facebook. I've been going to these to get people's cards and <clears throat> people's contact information and I've just kind of come across the fact that as you sit down to get to know people, you <clears throat> generally are wanting to find out their needs, what they're wanting, what they're needing help with. And as you begin to get to know those and you ask a little bit more about those, and you start to maybe give a little bit of insight into how you can help out with them, they'll start to give a little insight into how they can help out with your situation as well. So if you're wanting to take the approach to meeting five people a day, Make sure that you're taking the time to really get to understand the other person on the side of the table that you're sitting at, or to really listen to what they're needing and what they're wanting. Along with that, not just from their business, but in their general life as well. Get to know the person. In business, you may get all wrapped up in how stressful it is, but no matter what, it all still comes back to your relationships and how well you get to know the person and how strong of a relationship you make with them. So try and be friendly with them and make sure to do at least five, three to five sit downs a week, bare minimum, where you're sitting across the table from somebody, not trying to do business with them, just trying to be friends with them or make a relationship of some kind. Through these relationships, you'll find customers. Trust me. All week I've been struggling with is meeting three to five people a day, following up with my customers that I've already worked with, and continuing to do my normal marketing routine, is that really enough to get me by? Is that really enough to keep me from having to get another part-time job? Am I gonna have to go back to working nine to five for somebody else? These are some of the things that I'm worrying about all week long. And as I am, I'm continuing to just push through and meet my three to five people a day. I'm continuing to try and meet as many people as possible and get to know as many people as possible so that way they can spread the word for me. And so far it seems to be working. This week it looks like I've picked up three new customers for continual learning who just want to be able to learn every single week from me, which is really pretty cool. So I'm gonna start sitting down with those people and teaching them about their computers and their phones every week it looks like. It's also definitely a struggle to use Snapchat a couple times a day every single day. To document your uh, story, it's a little bit harder than you might think through Snap if you don't have the, uh, the consistency down yet. But if you don't have the consistency down, it helps build that in one area, which then helps all the areas. All in all, I'd say this week was a huge success. I picked up three new customers, 
I'm learning every day a little bit better where to find new customers and how to hold on to them a little better. And so all in all, I feel like I'm moving forward at a pretty good pace. If you have any comments or have any suggestions for helping me grow my business or know anyone who would want to meet up and have a coffee sit down somewhere in Kitsap County, let me know in a comment below. Also, give this video a like and a share so that way your friends can see the story of Above and Beyond. Also, head out over to our YouTube and our Facebook accounts by looking up Above and Beyond Tech on both YouTube and Facebook to give us a like and subscribe there as well. So that way you can stay up to date since we have those new tech tips videos coming out every Monday and Wednesday, along with these new documentaries we have coming out every Friday night. So check us out and give us the subscribe there. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and great next week. And bye.